Will Sabine actually be able to unite the Mandalorian clans? As we saw in Trials of the Darksaber, her goal with the Darksaber is to basically pronounce herself and unite the clans together against the Empire. But in all honesty, will she really be able to do that? Because let's take a step back and think. So, I mean, Sabine, yes, I feel like she would be a great leader. But you have on the other coin, we know that Mandalorians, even throughout the events of A New Hope through Episode 6, we know that Mandalorians are allied with the Empire as a collective whole. So, I mean, as much as we probably want Sabine, as much as the Mandalorians definitely, definitely, definitely could unite against the Empire under someone like Sabine's leadership, the chances of that happening are just kind of low just for that fact that we know Mandalorians are aligned with the Empire during, you know, the events of 4 through 6. Um, there's, there's nothing saying really that the Empire, that there were Mandalorians fighting, you know, uh, in the Rebellion, not, you know, there's no significant presence of Mandalorians in the Rebellion, so we can only assume that somehow this will go wrong with Sabine, and I mean, so let's speculate a little bit about how it goes wrong. I mean, my personal thing, we have no clue, you know, we have no hints or anything like that how this could go wrong. But I honestly think for the sake of the show, I do think that she will unite them in this season or maybe maybe even the next season. Maybe it's an ongoing thing, but I do think she will unite them. This is Rebels is still three years before the events of A New Hope. So there's definitely plenty of time for her to unite them and then something happens or something goes wrong so maybe she unites them and the empire kind of shows them exactly why they need to be aligned with them maybe the empire wipes out a lot of the mandalorians that sabine uh that sabine got together and united maybe the empire wipes them out or maybe you know sabine only manages to unite a few different factions, not the Mandalorians as a whole. Maybe she's not the one that brings all of the clans together, but she does amass a few uh, a few clans and, and a nice little group of Mandalorians uh, from those few clans, but, you know, that anything can happen to them, or maybe they do end up fighting for the Rebellion, and it's just one of those things that we didn't know about previously, and it's a small enough number to not impact the original canon. Um, so I definitely think that part, that part's definitely a possibility. I would lean on that one happening. Um, or if they go the route of, like I said, the empire wiping out the groups that the clans that she amasses or basically putting them in their place, teaching them a lesson because, uh, Emperor Palpatine is definitely known for that. He's definitely known for when people rebel, he he, he goes out of his way to make sure that they don't make the same mistake. He's very good at teaching lessons. So, but like I said, I would lean on the first one. Um, being young, uh, being also a Mando that's looked at as a traitor, uh, I don't think the Darksaber will be enough to make every single clan trust Sabine, especially not being Mandalore herself. Uh, right now i guess we can assume you know her mom is mandalore but how long will that last her mom anything can happen to her mom and definitely don't think sabine would get the title of mandalore immediately after her mother because you know as we all know it's not it's not like a king and queen it's not going to be passed down to sabine she's a traitor to the mandalore in their eyes she's a traitor to the mandalorian uh clans in their eyes so she she can't be mandalore without first uh proving herself and and you know being accepted so um i mean that's that's my speculation on a, if sabine's actually going to unite the clans i just don't think it would impact with the canon it would impact with the canon too much so i don't think it's going to happen to a large scale like i said it's either going to be a small scale or or if it is on a big scale, I think something's going to happen to where the Mandalorians reside with the Empire later on. And maybe she keeps a few basically rebel Mandos. I mean, but like I said, anything can happen. We don't know right now. We'll have to wait and find out on the coming episodes in this season. So 
but Sabine's plot arc does look to be pretty, pretty, pretty big. So this is this is interesting, and we'll follow Sabine closely and do any more discussions that we need to do on her because she's definitely one to watch out for this season. She's definitely becoming a major, major uh, character, especially tying into the Mandalorian plotline. She's kind of that that bridge. So um, will we see Mandalorians more often in Rebels now? Will we see? Uh, more Mandalorians as a whole is this Disney's way of introducing Mandalorians to the fan base and maybe prepping them for other appearances in other media who knows I mean Disney does it that way they introduce they introduce these things through um, the shows and they introduce them in a small way and then that's their stepping stone to get people interested in it and, and it shares around so who knows what this means for the future of Mandalorians, for the future of Sabine, and for the future of Sabine maybe, maybe not becoming Mandalore. Who knows? But anyway, remember to check out my other content right here on the screen. If you haven't watched Rebels Recap, it's right there. Also, I did a rant video of, you know, Rebels is all fillers? What the heck? Go check that out. So, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.